YouTube, what's up, what's up? I'm back. It's been about three weeks. Uh, I ain't forgot about my channel. I just been busy. You know, it's been a good three weeks. Um, I honestly ain't really accomplished much, but I definitely been learning out here on the road. Um, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And for my subscribers, already i miss y'all i've been thinking about y'all and i'm like i know y'all probably like what's going on with the uh with the content excuse me i had a phone call with the content but um i'm back and i really haven't accomplished much besides you know learning the road learning what's going on out here and um I tried to go get my twit card for the ports or whatever which I don't, I don't run to no ports now but uh in the future i plan on going to the ports so if you don't have in my state now and it's probably like this in every state but in my state north carolina if you don't have your birth certificate and your your birth certificate or your social security not your social security card i'm tired your birth certificate or your uh, passport and your driver's license or ID. I think you need your CDL actually. Your CDL, I have to check up on that because it, it might be wrong, but if you're a commercial driver and you're trying to get your um, TWIT card to enter the ports or whatever you, you may need it for, you need your CDL, your birth certificate, if you don't have your birth certificate, you can use your passport. If you don't have either one of those, you got to get one of those before you can get a TWIT card or get the uh, hazmat class, whatever thing you got to go through. So I went to try to get that and then um, I had my social and my CDL. She was like, nah, that's not going to work. So I got to go. I got to order my uh, birth certificate because the one that I had had got damaged. So I definitely need that anyway. That's something I need anyway. So I got to go get that. And then what else? I decided to wait to go get my endorsements on the uh, doubles and triples because I'm just going to try to get the uh, hazmat at the same time instead of paying each time because I had to pay to get my tanker, which I should have waited and just went and went for all three of the tests at one time. You know, with studying, you can pass it. It's just, you know, being repetitive and every day knocking out a section. By the time you go, you, you should be able to pass it. So that's what I'm going to do now while um, I put in the order for my uh, social, not my social, my birth certificate. I'm going to, you know, be studying that way. Once I get the Twit card and do the hazmat little class, I can go straight to the DMV for my uh, doubles and triples and my hazmat. So that's pretty much what's been going on. As far as me being out here on the road, I just been, you know, running my clock down. So by the time I stop, I'm tired. You know, I go get a shower and something to eat and that be it. So that's where I've been. I ain't, ain't really been much going on. Y'all can see I'm a little rough. I need to cut the little hair that I do got and face breaking out and stuff. But anyway, I just thought I would make a short video to come chat with y'all. Um, it's getting cold out, so I definitely been on the job hunt because I wanted to stay here a year. I've been back and forth on what I'm gonna do as far as um, Western Express goes. But the lane I run, I'm Northeast. So, you know, it's gonna be some bad winter. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be the winter time and you know, running up New York and all that, it's, it's snow. Everybody knows. And the way my bills are set up, I don't have time to be sitting at no truck stop for two and three days and or just out there trying to run like in the snow. It's dangerous. 
you know, I got kids that I need to get back to, family I need to get back to. So it's just like, um, why even try it? I want the experience and who knows, I may be still here if I don't find something decent because I'm trying to move up, you know, I ain't trying to just go to any company. So I might go through it a little bit and when it gets too rough, then get up out of here. Or if they can get me another region like Southeast or something like that, then I'll just hop on that. But uh, other than that, that's it. Um, with my backing, I've been uh, getting better, getting a lot better at my backing. So what I learned, I, I give it to y'all. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to help whoever watching. So. What I learned is with something I've, I've been known, but I just really haven't applied it. You know, you when you get out here, you be trying new ways. And, and you know, like every time is different too at the same time, but you need to find a way and stick with that. Like definitely stick with um, every little piece that you learn, you know, keep building it up, building it up and just, it should all come together. But when you're back in, when you're back in, uh, when, when I'm back in, you always using your driver's side, you always back in from your, the side that you can see on your driver's side, not your blind side, which is the passenger side. So, you know, you, you give it a little right to get it turning. You know, the trailer gonna go opposite what you're turning. So if you're giving it right, your trailer gonna be going left. So um, you give it a right, a little bit of right. Like, as long as your setup is good, this is how, this is what I'm trying to explain. You give it a little bit of right, and uh, you know, uh, hit the gas a little bit, go back a little bit, just to get it turning. But come out of that right, as soon as your wheels start rolling, as soon as you get a little gas and, and go back, as soon as your wheels start rolling, get that wheel straight, back straight, as quick as possible. Because now your trailer is gonna start pivoting once that wheel is straight. And that's what I picked up on, like, you know, my, my senses came on or, or, you know, the bell came on and it was like, okay, that's, that's what I'm doing wrong. You know, like every time I see the trailer not turning, which what I thought wasn't turning, I give it more right. But when you give it that that little bit more right, you messed up right there. You messed up right there because now it's turning. It's gonna be turning too much to the other truck, the hole you're trying to get it in, and that's what I was struggling with. Like every time I see it going too straight, I would give it right versus giving it a little bit more time. Or giving it a little right and getting right out of the, right out of out of that right immediately, getting my wheel back straight. Cause you will see it. You'll see what I'm talking about. When you get that wheel back straight, that trailer gonna keep pivoting. And now I understand when they say follow it in. Cause you give it that right, get it back straight. You watch the trailer. You watching that trailer pivot the whole time. And as that trailer's pivoting. Then you getting under the trailer, you following it in. So now you you um what is it, right? Then you come out of it with the left. So now you got the wheel straight, watching it pivot. Now you you're giving it left as you're watching it. And left is bringing you back in front of your trailer. So if that was like, you know, a lot to explain. If I explained it too fast, then um Let's go back and watch the video. I need to watch time because I ain't been making no content. But um, just can you wrap your head around what I was just saying? And uh, just to go over it one more time because I know I'm talking fast because I got to get in here to take this shower. But um, give it a little right. Get out of it immediately. Keep that wheel straight. Watch the trailer. As you you know you, your your foot is off the gas, your trailer should your truck should be going back on its own. But if not, you know just tapping a little gas. Watch that trailer pivot, and then all left. Just keep giving it left the whole time. I actually hold the steering wheel. Once I see that it got a good, it's turning good. 
I hold the steering wheel a little bit left until I just need to get all the way back around in front of the trailer. But that's been working. It's definitely been working great. Like, uh, I've been real satisfied with that. So, like, when it comes to docking or, you know, getting in these truck stops, it, you know, I haven't had no worries because, for one, you know, you can always get out and look, but, like, now I can kind of judge it a lot better. So, yeah, I've definitely been happy with that. And what else? Nothing really. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, man. I hope everybody doing well. I hope if you're in school that uh, you pass your test the first time. And, um, you know, don't listen to what nobody say. You know, take your own journey and figure out what trucking company you need to go to because you don't know what is going, that company is going to be for you. And, um, some advice for anybody who's trying to get their CDLs, study, study, study. Before you even think about signing up or anything, start studying first. That way, you, you'll you be good to go. Like, when it's time to take those tests, you're passing. You're passing the first time. And another uh, piece of advice for the drivers who's out here, take your time, man. Like, it ain't, it ain't worth wrecking. And it ain't, when you're back in, especially... Take your time. And you'll notice the more you take your time, the easier your day will be. Like, you know, like, I've really been having patience lately and not getting frustrated. And my day's been going a lot better. So, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you um, already subscribed to the channel, please, please, please hit the like button. It helps. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.